Right, I want to talk about using the printer here. So for this class, we're primarily using the HP Color LaserJet. The LaserJet prints two different sizes, and um, I have it set up so that this drawer down here is printing your 8.5 by 11s. And then if you have something bigger, you can print 11 by 17 in this slot right here. Um, I also have this translucency vellum. This is Casey's translucency. This is what we're going to be printing on for our screen print transparencies. It's just transparent enough to shoot to the screen. It's also one of the more affordable options. You want to be really careful with laser printers that you don't run anything that can melt through the laser printer because it heat sets it and if it melts it can stick to the, it can, it can hurt the inside. So just a heads up, um, if you have anything in this slot, it will automatically want to pull from the slide side slot first. Kind of this is how it goes in there. Right? And if it has something there, it's definitely going to want to pull from that first. So my request is that um, you don't just put the, the single sheet that you need to print in so that we aren't someone doesn't send like a regular file and print on our very fancy transparency paper. Okay? Now next to this printer is another printer. This is the Epson printer. You're not going to be using this printer for this class, so just don't use it. If you happen to be on that particular computer, the Epson is connected to this computer number eight. So if you are in computer number eight, make sure you send it to the HP Color LaserJet and not to the Epson printer, okay? I'm keeping this Casey's vellum up here, just out of the way. <laughs> Um, so just you're welcome to use that when you're ready to print out your transparency, okay? Last but not least, I have disabled color printing on this printer. Um, I found that if it prints just black dots, the transparencies are more opaque. So the way I've, I've actually, I'm going to leave it disabled. I'm going to leave it to sort of like only in black and white during the classroom. But if it ever has trouble, I can show you how to set that back into color printing if you, or if it's in color printing and you need to do black and white printing. Um, so that is, we can kind of like pop this out of the way, otherwise people will bonk it. Um, and then we're going to send a file to print so you guys can see how that happens. Um, you, you don't need this to be a transparency, do you? No. Yet. You're still in the work. So I'm going to show you. Um, I selected the uh, purple one. All right, so come on in here. So Amanda is going to be printing a layer. So as you're working with a multi-layered file, you can disable the colors you don't want to print at any point by clicking the little eyeball on it. And they will only print that color that you want, okay? And then in order to print, you go to File, Print. And what's really critical here is that you set it to print on the correct size paper. So by default, it's printing at eight and a half by 11 right there. Many of you will be wanting to print on a larger size paper. So the way you change that paper size is you'll go into print settings right here and you'll tell it that you're printing on tabloid. So tabloid is 11 by 17 and you can click save and it, don't worry about that. Yeah. And then it will for sure print out on the larger size sheet of paper. Okay. So that's just the one thing you don't, if you're designing things to scale, you want them to print out the same scale that you drew them. Once you have that, you can um, click print and make sure that there is a sheet that's been installed here and it will then pull from the side slot.